hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we will see how we can remove the choice in row 2 of our editable grid which is already selected in row 1 okay let's say over here i have this value selected as corporate in row 1 which i don't want to see again in row 2 right so to achieve this let's dive into the implementation part without any further delay Alright, so I already have set up my editable grid with some hard-coded data in it which you can replace with your own and here is my list of options for my drop down okay which has been mapped to this choice labels and choice values okay so this is something which we need to manipulate to maintain consistency and avoid duplication okay so in choice values I have to remove the ones which have already been selected so in choice value if you can see i have these one two and three corporate engineering and finance and corporate and engineering engineering are the ones which are already been selected i have to remove these two okay so with the help of difference function i will try to achieve the same cool difference takes two parameters array one and array two and it always returns the values which are in array one not in array two okay in our case array 1 is always going to be this choice value because this is something which is holding all the options right for a drop down so this is gonna be my array 1 and we have to take those values out from this array 1 from this local choice value which have already been selected and the selected values are being stored in this local employees as department okay 1 and 2 so here local employees dot department is gonna be my array 2 it is gonna take these two out 1 and 2 from this choice values okay so by doing this we have filtered out the selected values and which is why it is editing out by saying that the choice value was length 3 and choice value was length 1 it must be the same length because we have removed these two from this choice values which are already selected right and that's the reason why it is erroring out so now to prevent this from happening we have to make sure that our array 2 does not return the current item the selected value in the current item okay so i will be wrapping this inside difference function again to filter that value out okay difference here it is gonna take two parameters array 1 and array 2 this is gonna be my array 1 which is holding all the selected values which are nothing but 1 and 2 in our case right so here I have to filter out the current item right this okay there is some error uh, unmatched open parenthesis I think right parenthesis is missing over here yeah now I have to do the same for my choice labels as well right let's test this out okay it's gone the error is gone so what i'm doing here is like with the help of this difference function first i'm filtering out the ones which are already been selected from this local choice values and those selected values are being stored in this local employee as my department right so one and two are the ones which are already been selected and in this local choice value i have one two three as options for my drop down okay if i remove 1 and 2 from this 1 2 and 3 i will only be left with 3 and it is definitely gonna error out saying that the selected values are not present in choice value value is 3 and selected value is 1 and 2 something like that blah 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 so to prevent that from happening i am using difference function again to filter out the value of my current row okay from this array 1 local employees dot department so in local employees or department I have two value 1 and 2 and let's say my current row is this second row which is holding value 2 so here in FP dot department I have this value as 2 and then I am removing 2 I am just taking out that 2 from this local employees dot department okay so I will be only left with 1 as difference function returns the value in array 1 and not in array 2 so I will only be left with 1 so here this difference returns 1 and in here i have one two and three okay now this is gonna again return the value in array one and not in array two and array two this difference function returns one right 
so just taking that one out from this local choice values i will be only left with 2 and 3 that means for this row just i just want 2 and 3 as my options okay so that's how it is working but here in drop down instead of this choice values we would want to see the choice labels right so with the help of index function over here in choice labels i will be retrieving those values from specific positions within a list okay this is my list and here i will be wrapping this inside index function to retrieve those values this is gonna be my array local choice labels from which i want to retrieve these values local choice labels and this is the position of the elements i want to retrieve and then comes the default value okay now if i just try to test this rule out to see if it is working or not so here i have this corporate selected as my option okay and then i have this second option as finance which i can see i can't see engineering because this has been selected in row 2 okay if i just change this to finance i should be able to see corporate and engineering in row 1 there you go now i can see engineering as my second option because engineering is nowhere selected in these two rows if i just make these two rows null okay for now and see what all options i can see i can see all these three options right if i just select finance now i should be able to see remaining two options corporate and engineering in my row 2 which are already there okay corporate and engineering so that's how it is working if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye